Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have a special pick up pick a deck or pick a pile for you focusing on the Lionsgate portal. I'm going to focus first on what are you releasing? What energy are you coming away from or coming out of? Then the next part of this reading is going to be what is the Lionsgate portal offering you during this time? Now, we this portal has been open since July 26 and it will continue to be open until August 12th, okay? The peak of this will be August 8th, okay? So 8-8. Eight, eight. Now, two things here. Number one, I'm still going to shuffle for you, okay? So you guys can see what's coming out for you. But the second step here is for you to focus on which pile calls your attention. All three stones are uh, correlated to this Leo season, okay? So group number one, you have the pirate. Group number two, you have the tiger's eye. Group number three, you have the carnelian. Again, these are going to be the energies you're moving away from. And I'll be shuffling live. What is the Lion's Gate portal going to offer you during this Lion Gate portal season? But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Taro, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike. I thank each and every one of you for your support, your love, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Now, if you could please continue to give those thumbs up so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. Right now, just sit back, quiet the mind, meditate, and see which of these three groups are calling your attention. I'll see you soon. Hi, group number one, and you picked the pirate group. All right. So if I were you, I would Google, okay, find out what pirate may mean to you. Okay. Now this is uh, all about releasing negative energy. Okay. That's one of its properties, but let's find out here. What energies are you moving away from? Okay. The first card we have here is, whoa. So you have masquerade. That's the first card and Marie masquerade. That's the second card. Again, the energies that are you're moving away from right now, and what I'm picking up here for you, group one, is that you're moving away from a time where there is this sense of facade. There's this sense of hiding, either hiding vulnerabilities, hiding your truth, hiding behind something, okay? I feel here that there's this, uh, there's this facade of either acting happy when in reality there are a lot of emotional things happening uh, underneath or beneath the surface, okay? I feel here with this card, there's a sense of hiding stresses, okay? Maybe uh, you, you're showing the sense of confidence, but in reality, underneath, you're really stressed out about something. I feel here that you're also here uh, moving away or coming out of an energy of having some some sense of not being authentic or not giving value or honor to your authentic self okay that's what i'm picking up here with masquerade now what's interesting here is that you have two um cards here um and both of these cards here are talking about masquerade okay so i feel here that um you may, there may be masquerades happening on two ends here that you're releasing. I feel one of them could be having to do with you. Okay. You're releasing drama. You're releasing distresses. You're releasing the sense of hiding. Okay. Behind a facade, uh, you know, beh behind the, the fine, you know, when someone asks, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. But there's more behind that. I'm also feeling here with Marie Masquerade that some of you, if this doesn't resonate with you or for you, I feel here that this may uh, resonate for you. Okay. And um, the feeling that I'm getting here is that some of you are moving away from people who are wearing masks, people that have inauthentic feelings for you. They might seem as if they are happy for you, happier for, uh, for your successes, um, that they are really on this boat, you know, cheering you on when in reality they're behind the boat drilling holes so that you can sink. Okay. And that's what I'm feeling here. There's this feeling here of letting go or releasing or moving away 
from the gossip, from the envious people, from the people that um, may be trying to pull you down with their energy. Now, the good part here is that, number one, you picked pirate. So this is one of the stones that you can wear, and this can help you release any uh, low vibrational energies or negative energies. Number two, good news is that this is what you're moving away from, okay? Now, let's take a look here at what the Lion Portal has for you, okay? So what is the Lion Portal, uh, the Lionsgate Portal here offering uh, to group number one? Guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do so now so that you can be part of the Lexa Tarot family. And don't forget to click on that bell. Okay, guys? So every time I post, you get to know first. All right. Well, what is it that's coming in your direction? What is the Lionsgate portal offering you in a, in, in a sense of opportunities? Well, it says here pleasure. And if you look here, you see a, a person here really uh, coming in to their power or stepping into their power, um, absorbing their own energy, feeling empowered, and also being able to share their energy here. So I feel here with pleasure, there's this sense here of you um, coming into this awareness, uh, seeking your light, coming into uh, alignment with your own light, using the guy, uh, the, the lion's gate portal as a vehicle or as an energetic frequency to be able to manifest, to transform and to continue in this path of healing and transition. Let's see what else does this portal, the lion's gate portal offer you group number one. What else is it offering here for group number one? I feel here that also with this card of pleasure, that you're also going to be able to access or in heighten uh, or, uh, you know, there's going to be like an expansion of your intuition here. Okay. Because this person is really um, in the direction of that full moon and they're really just kind of absorbing and getting all this energy. And I feel that some of you are uh, going to have this expansion, this activation. Okay. These downloads. Um, that are really going to help you here uh, move, to move forward from this energy that you're leaving behind. Let's take a look here at the next uh, thing here. What other energies are you being offered by the Lionsgate? Well, you have here the Page of Swords, okay? Now, the Page of Swords is... Uh, thinking about new ideas here. Okay. There's also a sense of curiosity. Some of you uh, may not, you know, know what the Lionsgate portal is. And, you know, you came across this video and you're like, hmm, let me just see what this says. You know, let me just see what, you know, what comes up. But it's that sense of curiosity that's really going to really help you expand. It's going to help you see things in a different direction, in a different way. I feel here with the Page of Swords, there is this air energy, okay? There's the sense of thinking, looking at things from a new perspective, um, really being curious and really finding new ways, new ideas, and really trying to find even new ways of communication, um, and that being here, as you can see here, um, communicating with the ethereal, communicating with the divine, communicating or establishing a better communication system between your physical self and your intuitive self here. Okay. I'm also feeling here with this um, page of swords that for some of you, there's this thirst of knowledge. There's just something here that you're going to either figure out or come to terms of it kind of sparking some type of idea or you being able to communicate the beginning stages of, okay? Because page energy is all about the beginning stages of something, right? The novice type of level. So uh, kind of like the student, right? So I hear, uh, I feel here for some of you, there's this student energy. There's this energy of wanting to learn more about how can you create more pleasure? How can you create more energy, positive energy in your uh, relationships, in your uh, love life, in your career, and in your spiritual journey? All right, let's take a look here at what else is this Lion Gates portal offering you, group one, right now at this moment in time. 
All right. So you have here transformation. Now, very interesting. I mentioned that earlier with this card because this card has, if you guys could see here, uh, butterflies. Butterflies are all about transformation. It's all about transitions. And it says here, butterfly maiden. Now it's, it's more than just a coincidence here, guys. Okay. Cause I don't believe in coincidences, but your, the energy that you're leaving, you have two, um, cards that say masquerade madam masquerade guess what here in this um in this deck okay about what energy is coming in for you you have two messages that are very similar that of transformation it says here you are experiencing enormous change right now which brings great blessing group one this is so uh you know like on point with what i was feeling and channeling before i feel that there is something here for you during this lion gates portal that's going to either be a download or an activation that you're really going to connect to and that's going to lead you into a new way of looking at things maybe create more ideas, maybe even bring you uh, some type of awareness or some type of sparking of a communication or opening the lines of communication here with your uh, higher self, with the divine and with the ethereal. Group number one, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget at the end of this video, there are more videos to, to see. And if you're really interested in more information, I already have the August blessings up for you already. So check those out and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hi guys and welcome back. If you are here, it's because you're, you picked uh, pile number two or group number two, which is all about the tiger's eye. Now, if I were you, Google to find out more information about the uh, benefits of the tiger eye. That may there may be some uh, hidden meanings here for you during this time uh, of this Lion's Gate portal activation period. Okay, so let's take a look at what energies are you leaving behind. Okay, in order to see what energies. Uh, our opportunities, this Lion's Gate uh, portal is offering you during this moment in time. So you have two cards here and you're moving away from fated to suffer and the three fates, what comes around. What I'm feeling here uh, for you, group two, is that there's this sense here of you releasing or coming away from this energy of being confined to a certain script that you may have been uh, saying to yourself over and over again. For some of you that there's this reoccurring storyline, okay, whatever that storyline is, but whatever the storyline is, it's more about taking power away from you. Okay. It's not a positive storyline. Okay. It's more like self-sabotaging thoughts or, or fears here that you may be replaying, uh, in your mind or to yourself and you're feeding this into your energy or you were feeding this into your energy. Some of you were doing this at moments where, uh, things weren't going right. So instead of looking at how you can, uh, grow from the experience, it was more about focusing on the toxicity of the experience okay or being wrapped up into the 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 energy of what was wrong with the experiences or that the experiences happened to you and not for you okay so i feel here with this fated to suffer there's this storyline here of um you know attachments attachments to storyline attachments to old patterns of behavior okay especially when those moments that you felt oh uh, you know like things were going great and then all of a sudden comes this energy kind of in a way trying to fill your mind with something that wasn't positive okay now i'm gonna bring this close i don't know if the uh, if this could pick up uh, the camera can pick it up but there's an apple here and this part of the apple okay the part that's shaded it's decayed Okay, and there's this person giving that apple to the other person. Now, that could be your shadow self, right? That could be this part of you that uh, generates this script, especially during those moments where you really need to have hope or really need to really, uh, you know, hone in or uh, go deep uh, and, and connect with more of a positive storyline, okay? So I feel here, this is what you're releasing. Now, with the three fates, 
Uh, okay. And you have three here, three being the uh, three people or three energies here. I feel this is talking about for you, uh, group number two, that this is all about karmic cycles. There are cycles or patterns of behavior here that you have experienced time and time again. It's like either you do the same exact thing over and over again, but just in a different situation. Or for others of you, there's a lesson that keeps presenting itself time and time again. And it's like you still haven't learned the lesson, which is the reason why it still, it still keeps coming back. Okay. And that's what I'm feeling here with this card. I feel that there is some type of either karmic patterns, cycles, uh, you know, uh, attachment to old patterns. But this is, this is what the good part here is about these two, um, energies here. Okay. In these two different cards, this is talking about what you're releasing. So now that you are aware of what you are releasing, now we're going to take a look here at what you're going to be offered here by the Lionsgate portal. Now, one more message is coming in for you guys. As I was about to make that transition, I got another download here. I feel here that others of you are letting go or releasing the people who are toxic, especially here, people who have been trying to um, feed you uh, a negative storyline or uh, in a way uh, feed you, uh, you know, something that isn't right or lies or lack of transparency. I feel here that this energy of the Lionsgate Porter, portal is allowing you to disconnect from this person or these groups of people that you may know who they are. They may be in your social circle because this is coming across here with these three as, a, as, as people in your own social circle. Okay. So you're disconnecting from these people, uh, or you're releasing them because remember the higher your energy goes, not everyone is going to still, you're still not going to, you're not going to have that same amount of people around you. As you grow, as you download, and as you activate and you start becoming more aware of your spiritual journey, unfortunately, and sometimes fortunately, we start losing people along the way. And, you know, if you lost people or you're about to lose people along the way, then they're not meant to be in this uh, journey with you, right? For some of you, I feel that there is one particular person. That's why we only see one person. You're the person who is here trying to, uh, again, be in the light, you know, continue uh, this uh, activation and download during this period. And guess what? This person is the person you're going to disconnect from. All right. So now that we got that out the way, let's take a look at what's coming in. What is coming in for you? What is the Lionsgate portal offering you, um, group two? My apologies. My voice is a little, um, hoarse. So I, you know, there are times that I'm like literally talking a lot louder and pushing myself <laughs> to kind of get through the reading. And that's because I really want you guys to have this, uh, before the Lionsgate portal closes. Okay. So let's take a look here at what is being offered to you right now at this moment in time during the Lionsgate portal and the activations that are happening right now. Protection. Guess what? You know, these people here, you're releasing, you know, those storylines that I just channeled and downloaded for you. Guess what the Lionsgate portal is offering you? Protection. You no longer need to be around those people. You no longer need to be um, in this veil of a cocoon. Some of you weren't aware. Some of you were aware. You had this intuitive feeling, but it's like, well, you know, I've known so-and-so for such a long time. I don't know. Like maybe I should still continue to connect with this person or you know what? I never felt kind of comfortable around so-and-so, but I just kind of pushed it just to be around this person, right? This is talking about you having the protection now that's coming in for you during this portal, uh, Lionsgate portal. All right. So you're being pr protected by the ethereal. You're being protected by your higher self. You're being protected through these messages that I'm downloading because now you're opening your eyes. Now it's like a confirmation of what you were feeling or what you were experiencing here. Okay. So let's take a look here at what else 
are you being offered here during the Lionsgate portal? What else is coming uh, towards you? The Lionsgate portal is also offering you here the Four of Cups. It's offering you a, an opportunity to meditate, to contemplate, to reevaluate, and to disconnect, to disconnect to the things that you were disappointed from. Maybe there were people, experiences, or circumstances. Disconnect from the people that no longer serve you and your own uh, uh, high energy, you know, self. Okay, your new and improved self that's coming in now during this lion, uh, Lionsgate portal. There's there's going to be downloads or activations. A lot of them happening during this time. There's going to be a sense here, group two, of realization. So, you know, it's bringing you this sense of understanding that perhaps you may have had before, but this is now strengthening you to make certain movements, to understand that you are not alone, regardless uh, whether you can see uh, people there or not. Okay. So maybe you'll have a smaller quantity of people. Maybe you'll have a smaller friendship circle. Maybe that's what you need right now. Maybe not everyone in that circle is serving your best interest. So there is this disconnect that you are going to have here during uh, this Lionsgate portal is going to allow you to access that energy, that uh, connection of reevaluation, reevaluating your social circles, reevaluating how you approach social media, reevaluating how you navigate. Okay, your relationships with other people, but more importantly, the relationship you have to yourself. Let's take a look at the next deck. Now, remember, there's also there's this um, blessing also that's coming in. So the moment that you are ready to disconnect and really open yourself to that energy, there is a blessing coming here. That hand is the hand of the divine. So there's something here that will be coming in your direction to replace those things that no longer serve you. In order to fill up a cup, you need to take all the things that are, uh, uh, you know, in a way obstructing the fluid, right? The, the, the download, that positive energy from going in, right? It's funny because I'm seeing a glass with a lot of rocks and then someone pouring water in it right? Someone pouring uh, this tall glass of water, but there are rocks in it. And then once you take the rocks out, it's like the water goes down a bit and then there's more space to add more water. The rocks are the obstacles, the challenges, the things that you're releasing. The water is the positivity, the things that are coming to you. Once you get rid and release of those things that no longer serve you, you have more space for the positive things that are coming in your direction. You have here blossoming, and I'm not surprised here. You have blossoming. This is beautiful. What is coming in for you during this time of the Lionsgate portal? Through the activation, through the downloads, it says you are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. Group number two, I have nothing else to say for that. That was like self-explanatory. I hope you guys found these messages insightful. Now, listen, I've already put up the August blessings for each of the signs. So take a look there and see which sign, uh, what messages, additional messages that you're getting here as blessings for the month of August. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hi, group three. And you're here because you picked the carnelian. Okay. Now this is all about, uh, that yang energy. Okay. So listen, look through Google, find out what other spiritual benefits you can get here from the carnelian. Okay. This may be the stone for you right now during this moment in time. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look here at what uh, what are you releasing? What are you letting go? And then we're going to take a look at what's coming in your direction. Okay, guys. So let's take a look here. So we have, you're leaving behind revenge. You're leaving behind, uh, the sea beacon fairy. Okay. Which is about some type of guidance here. Okay. So let me channel here. All right. So what I'm picking up here, 
for you group number three especially with this revenge um card i'm feeling here that there there are or, or they were okay so for some of you this is a this is this was an ongoing situation for others of you you just kind of are getting out of the situation but there's something here there was a period or a cycle where there was a lot of anger there was a lot of bitterness here the your mind was not clear you were in a way either speaking out of anger thinking out of anger or doing something out of anger if it wasn't anger there was a sense of either sadness a sense of something not being fair a sense of um that wasn't right that wasn't just you know and your energy really stemming from that unfairness is this is how it's coming in for me okay for some of you this may have been a change that happens an unexpected change for others of you here there's the number 23 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 so that's why i'm saying change now for others of you um the minute i looked at the number 23 i'm getting the five of wands okay if you know anything about tarot you know that the five of wands is all about conflict whether that's internal conflict or exterior conflict but there was some type of conflicts here that created the sense of either anger bitterness or the sense of something not being fair okay you also have here um, the sea beacon fairy. It says guidance, but where will it lead you? I feel here with this card. Now, for, so, for some of you, this is important here, the number three. All right, I'm hearing too many cooks in the kitchen. So for some of you, the issue here, okay, was that there were too many people giving you way too many advice. People that maybe either A, didn't know the whole story, or people that perhaps, um, for a lack of a better word, may not have a deeper wisdom experience about that particular thing that or circumstance that you were dealing with. Okay, that's number one. So there were too many cooks in the kitchen, three party situations, too many people. Okay, that's number one. The second message that I'm getting here with the Sea Beacon Fairy is that some of you were making decisions and were being guided to do certain things, to say certain things, to do certain things, to act on certain things, to say certain things based on this energy of anger, bitterness, sadness. It's like if you would have been in a higher vibration, your actions, your words, and your thoughts would have really pushed you or pulled you in a different direction. But it was pulling you into that energy of feeding into that storyline or feeding into that anger, feeding into the bitterness or the sense of, uh, you know, just revenge for some of you. This feeling of something isn't fair, you know? And what's interesting is you have two different cards here from two different decks with the same kind of stance. And once I put this here, it's like, I'm feeling like there's a lot of emotions here. It's like you were, you were coming from a place that it wasn't you. It was just you being hurt or you being uh, either hurt or you being angry. Okay. What's great about these two cards right now is that this is the energy that you're releasing. This is the energy you're leaving behind. So that's a good thing. Now, let's see what is the Lionsgate portal offering you as a replacement, right? So you're moving away from that energy. Let's see where you're going now. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so now so that you can continue to get these insightful messages. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so that when I post a reading, you guys also know that it's posted. So you have your resilience. What is the Lionsgate portal going to give you at this moment in time? Oh, what energy? What is it offering? It's offering you the heart and the wisdom. Okay, so it's, it's offering you whatever emotions that you are leaving here. It's being replaced with wisdom. What I'm picking uh, up here, energy-wise, 
Okay, what's very interesting is you have two, uh, the number here is 21. It's like two plus one is also equal to three. I feel here that this is a collaboration between you and the ethereal, between you and a new set of people, okay? A new set of uh, energies that are going to be uh, coming in your direction and that you are now, you're no longer this person. Okay, so this person is going to go away, right? Because you are now, in a way, switching gears into a higher vibration. Into instead of being the victim, now you are the person in power. Okay, and that, in a way, here, um, you're going to take not that this experience wasn't, you know, this was beneficial for a reason, it was beneficial for you to learn something. So this didn't happen to you. It happened for you to gain wisdom. So whatever this was, it's like, now I know better, right? So that is what I'm picking up here. It's the releasing of those burdens from the past. Okay. Let's take a look. What else is the lion's gate portal offering you here right now at this moment in time? Group number three, what else is the lion's gate portal opening up for you during this uh, Leo season also, by the way? All right, let's take a look. We have the star. Am I surprised that this the healing is here? No, I'm not surprised because there's a sense of healing here for you. The star card. Okay, um, this is all about healing those things from the past, healing yourself, restoring your sense of faith, restoring your sense of spirituality, restoring yourself, calming of the water. Okay, very interesting. Two different decks. Look at the water. The water here is rippling. There's a lot going on here, a lot calmer. There's a sense of balance, there's a sense of unification, of combining. Okay, the land, the water on the land with the water in the water source. In other words, what I'm picking this up as the ethereal with the th uh, the three three dimensional, uh, you know, earth, the tangible, the what we're living here, and the energy that's coming in for you from the Lionsgate portal, combining both to again focus on the healing have a new way of looking at things, renewing yourself. Okay. I feel here, this is a good time for you to take salt water baths. If you don't, if you don't have a bath, okay. Cause sometimes some people have stand up showers. You can, you can do like a sea salt, Himalayan salt body scrub, or for others of you, a sea salt. Okay. Himalayan salt is from the earth, sea salt, ocean. So what it, whichever kind of, you know, calls your attention here to do. Okay. But that's what I'm feeling here with you. Uh, that that's the energy that's coming in for you. There's a sense of rejuvenation. There's a sense of clearing. There are a lot of hopes, dreams, and desires here for you, group number three, that are going to come into fruition. And that is, in a way, what the Lionscape portal is going to allow you to, um, in a way, access is what I'm hearing, or connect with, all right? So this is uh, something that is going to be, it's like you're going to be calling in the stars, okay? It's like you're, you need to tap in to the ethereal, to your guides, to your faith, to your spirituality, so that those manifestations that you want, your goals, your dreams, your desires, that healing can really uh, help you continue this process of, of man manifestation. Now, another card that has yellow. <laughs> you have three cards here that have yellow. You have the yellow star, the resilience has a tad of yellow, and here you have, I mean, what is the Lionsgate portal going to give you access to? What is it going to offer you? Well, a bright future. You know why? Because you've released all this bitterness, all this fear, okay? All these emotions that were not allowing you to move forward. And with this Lionsgate portal, what's coming in for you is it says here, stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine, okay? There is this sense that everything's going to be fine. All you need to do is focus on higher vibration, higher vibrational energies, 
restoring yourself, restoring your faith, continuing to aim for those desires, those goals, those dreams, and to do it with a sense of hopeful purpose. Like there's hope and positivity so that you're able to continue to create this bright future for yourself that's going to be able uh that you're going to have access to that now during this time frame group number three thank you so much for stopping by click here on the lexa tarot logo to be part of the lexa tarot family click down here for more messages i'll see you guys soon Bye bye